What's up, y'all? Um, as I promised in my last video that I posted on here, that I would do some sort of like skincare, hair care routine. Um, the thing with me though is that I don't actually have like a skincare regimen that I follow, you know, every day. Um, like a normal person, I wouldn't even say like a normal person, but you know, I don't have that routine that everybody thinks that I have. My skin is clear because I drink water um, and I mind my business and I wash my face, you know, every morning and I try to wash my face at night before I go to sleep. And I also use a separate towel for washing my face versus washing my body. So I'm not washing my balls and my ass and using the same towel to wash my face. That's kind of gross. So I have them separated. Um, but every now and again, it is very, very, you know, crucial that you actually use a facial cleaner, you know, just to get the built up dirt off of your face and whatnot. Um, so when I do feel as though that that time has come is usually within one or, you know, every two weeks, once a month, you know, um, I use Noxzema. Listen, it's old school. It gets the job done. And honey, once it starts tingling, it means it's time to wipe it off. It's not that hard. It's not that complicated. And quite frankly, it gets the job done for me. My skin stays, you know, pretty clear for the most part. Um, I am a little irritated though, because I have a very oily T-zone. And then sometimes I get like those dry skin, those dry flakes like right up in here. So when that time does come or if I do notice them, um, I just get like a little moisturizer with a Q-tip and I just rub it into my T-zone and that usually eliminates that. But I won't be much of assistance when it comes to skincare. Um, you know, I originally planned to get on this video and saying, y'all mad and y'all jealous because y'all skin ain't like mine. And my mama told me that'd be inappropriate. So I'm just trying to be like a good person and not rub that in y'all face that y'all wasn't blessed by the guads with great skin. Um, But I do have an extensive beard regimen that I do every single day. My hair looks fucking crazy. <laughs> oh God, I hate the fact that like the barbershops and things are closed because I'm looking like Wolfman Jack. Um, I did take it upon myself during the coronavirus times to learn how to trim my own beard. Um, when I say trim, I don't mean and be baby faced or smooth where you can see my cheeks. No, I like my beard long and I want it longer. Um, but I do line myself. I do line up my beard. I do line up my mustache. I do trim loose hairs and stuff like that. And this is what I use. I don't even know the name of this. It's the Philips Narrow Coal. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Narrow Coal One Blade. So it's basically for hair and for, um, for body hair and for face. Um, it works really well. It comes with a charger. Um, it's waterproof, so you can use it in the shower. Um, I've had this f since coronavirus started, and I actually haven't charged it. So if you're not the type of person to use it or use a trimmer frequently, this guy pretty much gets the job done. I have no complaints. I even hit my roommate to it, and he uses it. Um, so yes, I have taken it upon myself to trim and you know clean up my own face. Um, and then I also use a lot of beer products. I spend about $80 a month on hygiene products for my beard. Um, and there's only one brand that I use and they're pretty awesome, um, is Beard Brands. Um, you can follow them on Instagram on beard, you know, at Beard Brands, um, find them on Facebook. You can shop them online, beardbrands.com, or you can go to Target where I get mine from. Um, but as you can see, my beard is a little matted right now. Um, I put moisturizer in my hair this morning. Um, so I'm not gonna do that on camera right now, even though like I was laying down just now and my hair is a little flat, whatever it is, what it is. I just gonna have to deal with it until Corona times is over. Um, but first things first, okay, I'm black. My hair is coarse, 
Okay, the same texture that's on my head is also on my chin, right? So you just can't be going through, running a comb through this willy-nilly without preparing the hairs to be ran through. You know what I'm saying? So the perfect thing that I use to start off my little daily routine is, fuck, is this guy. It's the Stone Mason. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's the Stone Mason um, beard softener. Um, it does exactly what it says it does. It makes the beard super soft. So I'm able to get a comb, you know, through here and, you know, I can comb the beard softener through and through and it goes from root to end. And it basically makes my beard super, super soft. So you can come up and you can touch it and you can rub it and you can pet on it and it won't feel like a Brillo pad. So I apply it with water. Eh. Eh. Nothing never want to aggravate, especially when you got some recording. You know, I get a little healthy amount. I wet it. I'm sitting down right now, which is probably like a bad mistake because everything's going to get wet. So I'm just going to sit up. And I rub it in like so. I make sure that I get every inch of my beard from the root to the tip, to the tippy tip tip, to the ends, to the insides, to the underneath. All of it, honey, my hands. After I get my beard softener in and I get that going. Yeah. Whew. I got my ottoman from the living room that I'm sitting on. I need a bar stool or something just to put in the bathroom whenever I have to record. I never thought that I would be the type of person to be in a bathroom recording himself doing facials and combing things and giving advice. But here we are, you know, Corona has brought up different, different, you know, aspects in our lives and it is what it is. Either you, you grow or you don't. Um, my favorite thing to use is this wooden beard comb. This is actually not from Beard Brands. Um, beard Brands, they do sell um, beard combs. Um, I just found this at Target in the men's grooming aisle. Um, I think it's a lot better to use than plastic. Just me. Um, that's just me because plastic does like it rips your hair out. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like plastic is not good for your hair. Um, I my go-to would be wood and metal, honey. I don't use plastic on my beard. My beard is my baby and it deserves the best. Um, if you notice that the beard has two different teeth or two different sporks or two different whatever you want to call them. Um, this is for more fine hair. This side right here is for more fine hair. Um, and this side is what I use personally because my shit is thick, okay? Um, so I use this one with the wider teeth. Um, it kind of gets in there. It, it, it you know, detangles the, the shit that's tangled. Um, and it helps a brother out. So I start with the root. And this may look painful if I go more than 24 hours um, without combing my beard. The first time I do comb it after that extended period of time, it's fucking painful. Okay, like it's not anything that I recommend. Okay, um, so I try to keep this keep this going every single day because I don't feel like being in the bathroom screaming in excruciating pain because I want to look cute. Even though they do say beauty isn't easy, honey, it's not. So yes, I give it a nice little comb. And as you can see, you can already tell the difference between my beard before using the beard softener and before using the beard comb and then after. Like it makes a really big difference um, because shrinkage is real. I keep telling people shrinkage is real. Like I don't even know how long my, like, my real hair is because... I haven't combed it out in a really long time. I just co-wash my hair. I don't really use um, shampoo that much because I do have chronic dry scalp and shampoo does dry your hair out. Um, so I just, you know, just try to rinse the buildup out of my hair. And then whenever I feel as though it's time, like whenever my hair does start itching, that's when I decide that it's time to use um, shampoo it and whatnot. Okay, so we got the kinks out. You know, it's not nappy. 
I can comb through it without hurting myself. The beard looks full. It looks amazing. It looks luxurious, funner. Um, so the next step would be the Lumberyard. Ugh, I'm not used to this. The Lumberyard Beard Oil. Um, this is great for hydration. Um, I use this um, after I shave or after I trim my beard. Um, just because whenever you do use a razor blade on your face, you peel a layer of skin off. Um, so this locks in the moisture. Um, this also protects the skin under the beard. So it keeps the skin under the beard very hydrated. Um, I do remember like a couple of years ago that my skin under my beard was like very dry. So I was getting like dry patches and like I'm starting to break out under there. It was like real fucking gross. Like having a beard is a lifestyle. You got to take care of your shit. Um, so I started using the beard oil and it just gives, you know, it hydrates you, honey, you know, gives you some shine. So they say use one or two drops, um, a day for the beard. How? Okay. I love you beard brands, but if you want me to use one or two drops, give me a drop stick and not a fucking hole in the top of the bottle. So I don't even know how many drops I'm using, but I just make sure that the, both of my hands are equally saturated with the oil. And I just go in and I just do that. And I just make sure that I get every inch from the root to the tip, honey, from the root to the tip. And I just go in and I just make sure that my beard is shining, honey, shining. I like a little shine. Okay, so. I think that's about good. I think I'm about set. I don't think I need to keep stroking my face. And I'm gonna wipe my hands because my hand, actually I'm gonna wash them because at this point my hands are just fucking gross. Washing hands is very important. Um, I do recommend washing your hands for 20 seconds. Make sure you get, you know, the ins, the outs. Make sure you rub it together. Make sure you wash your hands with hot water. And boom. Okay, so. The next step in my beard regimen would be to clean up my mess. Put it back where it goes, even though none of this goes over here. I actually have like a little tray above my toilet um, and I don't keep them on the sink just because I like to keep my sink organized. Um, and then the next step will be the Lumber Yard by Beard Brands um, Utility Bomb. Now all of these, they do have different scents my stonemason is a scent, and then Lumberyard is a different scent. Um, I think stonemason smells amazing. Yeah, it's like a subtle, subtle something. It's not too strong. It's kind of like it doesn't have a scent, but it's a scent. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I can tell that you like washed your ass scent. That's what the stonemason provides. And then the Lumberyard is just, is a musk. And you know, I love meat musk. I love me a little musky man, okay? Mm. Mm. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now, what the utility bond does, it keeps your beard in place. So if you have a really long beard that decides to blow in the wind and it's blowing in the wind fabulous, or if, you know, you just want your beard, if you styled your beard in a particular way and you kind of want it to stay that way, this is where the utility bomb comes in place. And essentially what it does is kind of like hairspray for women. It just keeps everything nice and tight. Um, it holds it in place and it gives it some extra shine, gives you some extra scent. Um, and it helps with the loose hairs. Now, how we looking? We looking good? We looking scrumptious? That's the plan. Now, just for the hell of it, just for shits and giggles, um, I don't know if guys do this or not, uh, but I know that when I first started, you know, my beard journey, that nobody really told me that I had to, like, comb under the beard. You know? You have to comb under the beard. That's hair, too. So, for shits and giggles, I use my pick. And I just go under. And I just make sure that nothing's flat. 
nothing's mad at, and life is okay. Now this should give you and your beard a full look. You shouldn't look like you have any patches and when you go under, it should just be bam, hair. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my beard, honey. That's all that I do. Um, I try to do this every day. And if my beard doesn't come out the way that I want it to, or if I feel as though it's lopsided, or if my barber has cut too much off of it more than I wanted him to, I don't need a house. Beauty isn't easy, honey. I'm just saying, if you want me to look good and sell, honey, you gotta let me do what I do. And I promise you it's gonna be fine. Just don't call me before mine. That's it. But other than that, I'm out. I'm out this piece. This was fun. I'm hot as hell. I got this lamp from my bedroom in here. And I got an odd man from my living room in here. And listen, I'm about to turn this camera off and I'm about to get on with my day. I'm doing nothing.